I ti was thought you born was a Baldridge be no mean and on Fairlin Horn my to in them net. Just man a chill was what man a well on. I said I could for the John Holt in Uniis a Schloss oder min hus diese Wiese. Ok. John glad on Holt for them. And now man drive us me ok. Ich mein sprecher mit folks at the Whitgarth. I was on so neck now, got some shop as on hold to tell the folk of that spell. Check him in, the shop that I chilled was, I slept on floor and a rat nichel. We were never glad that he might do the corn, and we were now on when the shoulder came on, and we were not going to die, also we could then work on the first day, or the hold to the water in the field. And that's so on with on the shop. And when I met him gone, or that we betined in our work, and that we had work betined in the house and he told us a spell. A goodness shop, a goodness sanger. All the summer morning, as soon as you leave, Charles, we have each morning some things bestimmed or wakne, morning some things three or wakne. It's where the noun might be. We watch some fox the flower on Facebook and them home. Och det det andra morgonen är det jag inte hit rinnat, så jag kommer att fiska upp fler än från.
hele on hold til uh, Ulve Sjøt og mig ofte. Nu ser vi morgon elvas, och det morgon elvas sjukt att vi måste se den. Jag tappar lag nu, och jag ska inte finna finna dem. Och Fredrik sjuknis, ja. Jag jag ser från svävnes sommar. Fred is ook niet zo'n soort trouw water na laagte. Det är fel tid om det känns som att jag har levt lite om svift nu. Levt, ja. Ja, det var ju makot. Man skall man i midunion och huset. Ich vid utan ådrum anhagar sig bäl. Nej, någon man är om det. Så om elf. Nemají leuzmakion, a k tomu je čevčí minjem. 
Sporty Town in Warnhager. Auf die Manhara are je bidet. Mit du des Milze sagt sie himmutschaurig. Je und la hula de longe schelde. Schreden mit Hondum, schrim schalde sa. Wadon wraklas das wird bis full orad. Swa quad art stop our feda ye mindi. Rothro wal slachta we ne mara hude. Of the children of the future. Eastern Day Sakic, where on wild there? South Leech, yeah. Yeah, South Leech. Where the Neo Knowe? No, no, it's not Knowe, you know. Spatches on me, Tim. Great day, you know, Law. Who saw the hair? Brown hair, full, and then have the shoes. No socks? No socks, no. No socks. So he did his photos with the Leech Sitch. It's not he done lots of Leech. Er ist ein kleiner Serg, oder? Ja. Er gibt es ein kleiner Serg. Er hat einen Knief, oder? Nein, nicht einen Knief. Er hat den Belgen ins Schritte. Sollte ich etwas in ihm? Nein. Und er meint, dass er den Baldrich bin, oder? Baldrich? Baldrich, ja. Dat is speel. Je hebt de wijf van mij toen een twaalf gaat en koe en huis. En ik weet niet of je het even moet doen, maar God stel dat de hij blijft zijn huis. En als de andere man benoemt zijn huis, dan zal het spel erin zijn. Hm, vreemd. Ja, ik zou het glad in mij toen wat aanhouden. En volk zegt dat hij stil het hele bed van hij is om hele velden. Better, yeah. Yeah, better than have it. Yeah. Stone on the other side and him stone better than swart is. And blau. He bit stunt if it's on it. Yeah. It's on a shoulder it's just and if it's not the child's name. The Atlas folk. Yeah. Ok. Still when the Atlas folk come out. Yeah, so it's it. So it's it.
Germania say? Who think you say? Don't have. You know the Baldrich? Swar? You know that? Yeah, it's what you know. You see your hall? We've been a quill one. Show me his brother. With his help on? Yeah. He's pretty sorry him. No matter. Don't have it. Yeah.
Because so much of this person's skeleton was preserved, there's a very good chance that it belonged to a man about five foot eight in his twenties or early thirties. He's been nicknamed Peter by locals because he was found so close to what's now Petersfield in Hampshire. Three things stood out to us when we found him. Firstly, he wasn't in a known cemetery and there don't seem to be any other bodies near him. Secondly, his bones were only partially articulated. This probably means that he'd partially decomposed above ground. He'd been picked up by scavengers before something happened that stopped the scavengers from accessing him easily. Thirdly, and most strangely, a number of artefacts were found inside his ribcage. The way the artefacts were arranged suggests that they were placed there after a certain amount of decomposition had already happened. They included several ferrous objects, in other words, bits of misshapen iron, including something that might have been a hook with a few strands of grey wool adhering to it. The wool might have come from the man's clothing, or it might have come from a piece of fabric attached to the hook. Our suggestion is that somebody found the body after it had been decomposing for several weeks, placed some artefacts where its chest was, whatever state it was in at that point, and then maybe buried it or placed something perishable over it so that scavengers couldn't get to it anymore. The man's cause of death isn't completely clear. The on-site environmental archaeologist found traces of a number of different plants associated with Peter. These included rosehip seeds, the seeds of a few wild grass species, fragments of acorn, horse chestnut and cultivated barley. Some of the barley seemed to have been infected with a fungus, Claviceps purpurea, which causes a serious gastrointestinal illness called ergotism. This can cause symptoms ranging from gangrene and necrosis of the hands and feet, all the way to central nervous system effects like seizures and psychosis. While it's often pointed out that ergot fungus contains a precursor chemical to LSD, it's not chemically the same, and although we can't know how ancient people thought, I'm sure that I would find the overall experience quite negative and frightening, especially if I didn't know what was happening. We're not sure whether Peter suffered from that illness exactly, but we are sure that he'd severely injured his leg, probably as a result of falling from height. He'd sustained a comminuted fracture to his proximal tibia. In other words, the part of his shin bone nearest the knee had broken into several pieces. This kind of thing usually happens when a sudden force drives the thigh bone into the joint, which might happen as a result of a fall. The fracture had healed to some extent and had probably been sustained a few weeks or months before he died, but it hadn't healed properly so he probably had difficulty walking. That's the only major pathology on his body apart from some arthritis that was probably caused by walking on the fracture, so it's not completely clear what killed him. It could have been a fast-acting infection. The osteological paradox refers to the fact that very severe, fast-acting illnesses often leave no trace in the archaeology because it takes a long time for an infection to start to affect your bones. If it kills you quickly, it never does. But there are lots of things that could explain sudden death. Peter might have had a rare heart condition, possibly made worse by ergotism, or sustained a fatal injury that didn't damage his skeleton. Either way, it seems as though he died a little way from any settlement although most land in early medieval England was managed in some way, and he was near some settlements. Unsurprisingly, stable isotope analysis shows that he was born relatively nearby. A person, perhaps a member of his community, placed some artefacts on him when they found him, but ultimately we'll never know whether they were his. His solitary nature brings to mind a famous early medieval poem called The Wanderer, which I'll now read in my pretty shoddy Old English pronunciation. Oft him arn hagar. Are ye be death, metu des miltse, theathe he mod chaeri. Yond lagulade, longa shelde, rerun mid hondum, rem chaelde sa, wadun raclostas, weird bit for a rat, swan quaff. Eird 